Uh, I can't believe I do this for a living. I'm only doing this once. I've been influenced! Do you suffer from Instagram and TikTok ads like me? Today I'm gonna review some of the 10 best Instagram ads for fitness equipment for home gyms. Let's do it. If you're on social media, you get inundated by ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, and a lot of them, at least for me, are home gym related. But I wanna talk through and give you my opinions on 10 products that pretty much many of you and many people on our team have been getting ads for. So we're gonna start by Sam bringing out the first one. Sam? Let's go with the Easy Block. Coming in at $6.99. Okay, this is the Easy Toned Easy Block. And just so you know, if you want a full in-depth review on this one, we have one coming out. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. And for most of these, we either have a review, so you should check the backlog, or we have one coming out. This is a little bit different and unique from a Newbell in that it's using all metal construction, at least that's what they say. The reality is it's not fully metal, there's some plastic here, there's plastic everywhere else, but what's unique about it is these discs. Look at those discs. They're so thin, everything's chrome. I mean, it just feels like just primo, very nice. The problem is the handle is so big. Obviously you see the nice clicking coming close and I'll show you and you can hear it, just a nice in one kilogram increments, so 2.2 pounds, like just highly adjustable all the way up to 70 pounds. But one way they're using them in ads is like a kettlebell. And just so you know, I would not use this like a kettlebell. It just doesn't work in that way. But if you're in the market for an adjustable dumbbell and you're like, ah, I keep getting ads for this one, should I get this one? Wait around for the review and I'll tell you. <laughs> Next one. Monkey feet, about $93 with shipping. Beautiful. These are basically a modern interpretation of the old York iron boot. If you've ever seen those, some of you probably haven't because you're spending too much time on social media, not reading history of fitness equipment. If you have, it's basically a way to weight your feet. The difference is this is loadable in a way that the other isn't, and this one's actually very comfortable. So I have some dumbbells here. <laughs> And the way this works is this collapses, wraps around the handle of the dumbbell, you then put it out and you can put your foot in and it adjusts just like a freaking roller skate, which is cool. This one, I was very skeptical of when I saw it. It's like, ah, like how beneficial is that? Then I started seeing guys like Ben Patrick from Knees Over Toes Guy. They're doing hip flexor exercises. And I started hearing from our home gym community of people that use these in their home gym, in their garage gym, in place of like a leg extension or leg curl. Is this as good as those? No, it's very nice to have a dedicated machine. But look about how much this costs. Look how much space it takes up. Look at the resistance. It can be already something you have, and this becomes a very good option for home gyms. This is one of my favorite products that I've been advertised to on social media that is designed specifically for a home gym. I've had a pair for over a year or so, have used them often for every exercise you can think of, and they still perform just like new. I'm surprised, despite how much equipment I have in my garage gym, I still use these quite a bit. So, some of these are kind of gimmicky, you'll see. These ones are not, these are legit. Okay, next one. The iron neck, coming in at $2.99. Okay, can you put it on my head, please? Dun, 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 King dun, dun, iron neck. Oh, you don't have to strap it, it's okay. No, okay, you can. Let me tighten can. it for okay. you real quick. <laughs> Thank you. This is iron neck. Iron neck is basically designed to strengthen your neck. It's a very freaking goofy looking device. However, if you're getting lots of social media ads, you may need to strengthen your neck because you're constantly like this. Goes like this, straps on, and then this part straps to some sort of resistance. So it can be like a resistance band or a cable stack, something of that nature. You have the resistance and you turn your neck, okay? And you're basically trying to keep your neck stable, your body stable while rotating. I've found that for mobility, flexibility, and also strengthening of the neck, this is one of my favorite devices to use. It is very expensive for what it is. And the starter one, and the pro version, which have like a $300 difference, are the exact same thing. And the only difference is they put a little like resistance knob in here. Very annoying. But despite how goofy this is, if you're in any sort of martial art 
or anything where you're using your neck often or you're trying to increase the flexibility, this is a good option. Okay, next. The J-Flex Hyperbell coming in at 179. Thank you, sir. We have a full review we've done on this, so if you'd like to see that, you can check it out in the backlog of videos. So basically, instead of having weight plates, you can use your dumbbells, which you may already have, fixed dumbbells, some adjustable dumbbells work, but this allows you to use it like a barbell. So you can use it for all sorts of presses if you load both sides, or if you just load one side, you can also use it like a hammer, or you can use it behind the head, things like that. This one, one, I was worried about the durability, we drop tested it and it turned out fine. I wouldn't suggest drop testing it. If anything's gonna break, it's gonna be this little red piece and I don't think it'd be very expensive to replace that. That said, is this one I'd recommend for a lot of people? Ah, if you've got dumbbells, like number one, you can only go up to 100 pounds each one they recommend, so like 200 pounds. So if you're deadlifting heavy, like if you've got 100 pound dumbbells, I don't know if you need a bar, like you could just use the dumbbells as is. So like the movements don't change a lot and movements that could change, this isn't long enough to be racked. The kettlebell I actually like a lot because it can transition. It can go from this way or it can turn to the side if you're doing swing. So you can do heavy dumbbells on here without the dumbbells knocking your knees like on a kettle grip. I really love this design, although understand it is plastic. For most people, the piece that I would recommend specifically from this combo is this one right here. This one actually shines. <laughs> the perfect push-up coming in at $29.99. Okay, these have been around a long time. The idea is it allows you to do a push-up, but you can rotate. So if you're doing a push-up and you're on a fixed plane and you're using your hand, you can't really rotate your hands. This allows you to use it like you would a bar, but you can rotate, similar to rings. If you don't have rings, you don't wanna put them all the way down, this can do that. They're very smooth. This is an as seen on TV, definitely product. It's not like the most durable, but I've had these a while and I do use them. If I'm doing push-ups, this is honestly one of my preferred ways to do push-ups. I don't think like for most people, this is gonna provide a huge benefit, but if you're doing a lot of push-ups or you want something that's gonna make you do them more because it's more comfortable, this can work. That said, I don't see these like improving your training a whole lot um, against just normal push-ups. Let's go with the Terracor. Coming in at $422. Woo! Okay, Terracore is an interesting product. This is an as seen on Shark Tank product, and they're really popular. In fact, there's like big power lifters that love benching on these. And I've benched on this one. That's really how I would use this. This one specifically, they market this towards like body pump type classes. That what the, what's this one is marketed towards. So like you grab these handles, you can use it on this side to lift throw up, you can use it to use as push-ups, that sort of thing. Me, ah, I'm not that interested in that because it's not loadable. You can't add extra weight to it. So, you know, it's a little bit of an annoyance. That said, for push-ups like floor press, I think this is, can be like a beneficial thing. Specifically, like the way they're marketing it, which is like using it for body pump type stuff. I'm not really into that. I know there's people that probably are, but the reason that I don't love it for that is because it's not loadable in any way. But interesting item, no less. Next up, we got the Oyo Nova. Interestingly enough, this comes in at only 150. However, okay. fun fact, they did raise over $4.4 million in crowdsourcing on this one. Okay, that's insane. This is developed supposedly by NASA. The idea is to have resistance in space that doesn't have to be tethered to anything else. Because it's not gravity-based, you can use it wherever. This is the way that the weights attach or the resistance attached is these little pucks right here. So this puck comes off, it then attaches on. You can see if you look close, the resistance comes from this like basically springy type device where it like the farther you pull these, the more that ratchets up, which increases resistance. Max allowed resistance on this one is 40 pounds. I think they make a like an upgraded version that can go up to like 60 pounds or something like that. They marketed it as you can use it for all sorts of lifts. So you can use it for things like this for the chest. You can also use it like this for the delts. The problem is the resistance kind of light. And I just don't foresee a ton of people using this device to like really improve strength because the resistance only goes up so high. Now I do think it's cool that it's very compact, very cheap, and that you can do a 
bit of movements with it. Like you can get creative with it. I'm not a huge fan of it. I wish the resistance would go higher. And I think there's devices that can take up a similar amount of space that may be more expensive, that can be way more bang for your buck. I think anybody that's really into training, you're gonna graduate from this very quickly. Next up, the old Kinsway vest coming in at 229. Sweet, okay. Kinsway weight vest, the idea behind this is rather than using like, you know, these plates that are made for tactical vests that we often see, you can use your own plate. So this is a 10 pound plate, just like you'd use on a barbell, two inch center. You then take this and screw it on. I really like this vest in that you can get it very heavy. So if you wanna do weighted pull-ups, it works for that. If you wanna do weighted push-ups, you can do that. If you don't have a barbell, you could technically weigh this up to like 200 pounds. If you had a bunch of 45s on here and you could do squats with it, it's like kind of cool for a minimalist setup or those that are wanting to weight calisthenics and body weight exercises. There's a lot of weight vests that are out there, but this is one of the most unique. And if you're into something, getting something really heavy, this is one of the best options. Now, I will say for running and that sort of stuff, I think there's better options because this can move a lot and with heavier weight, it can feel kind of awkward just because you're sitting with this 45 pound plate up in your chin. That said, if you're going on walks, rucks, that kind of thing, I think this works really well. And I, I really like this one. Bring yeah. me something good. Let's hit the recovery zone okay. with roll recovery. I need to be recovered. Coming in at 139. Okay, we've been testing and talking about all these products that are really made for lifting or conditioning. This is one that's made for recovery. This one is unique. You can tell these basically roller hockey wheels that have been sandwiched together. This one wraps around and then be, due to springs within it, it basically suctions up against your leg. So it allows you to have basically a massage on whatever body part you want. But my favorite place to use this is on the calves. So I like to bring it around this way and then you can really just dial in the cat. I mean, it like feels just brutal if you really want it to. The benefit to this is you can use it on like pretty much a lot of body parts. So you can use it on your arms, forearms, rock climbers, guys that are into jujitsu like me, that kind of thing. This can work really well because like your forearms just tear up. And I haven't found other than arm aid, which is another device like this, a piece of equipment that works as well as this for just like, getting out your elbow tendonitis and just inflammation there. Okay. All right, next up, we got the Engage grips coming in at $39. These are a fat grip, but what is unique about these is that instead of just being a straight grip, it allows you to turn a normal bar into kind of an easy curl bar. It's not perfect, it's not the exact angle, but it does change the angle enough that it makes it unique. It increases the diameter of the handle, so that can increase the strengthening of the, of the wrist. It just makes it harder to hold if you're trying to improve your grip. But I like that it allows people that only have straight bars, don't wanna buy an easy curl bar. This is a cheap addition you could add to a bar that simulates an easy curl bar. For the price, personally, I'd probably recommend these over like a fat grip. The reason being is you could use these on dumbbells and it would feel very similar to fat grip because you adjust the angle. It doesn't really matter if this is adjusting the angle but you could also use them on a barbell and change the angle, which I think is cool. We got a plastic plate. Perfect, I've been wanting one of those. A bar. Okay. A resistance band. Hey. The X3 system coming in at a $550. X3 is a lot of money when you look at the components. You're like, man, there's a lot. This isn't that much stuff. Like you get five, six bands, you get this and you get a program. I will say this bar is well made. It's a very nice bar. I love the knurling on it. Like I love the size. I know they came out with a extra long bar. I don't think it's necessary. Most people don't need it. I think even if you're like really wide, you can get by with this for curls. When I travel, this is typically what I travel with. It's so small and you can just get crazy resistance. The reason being is because the resistance bands are creating the resistance. The farther you are away from the plate, the increase of the resistance. And most people, actually pretty much everybody, if you deadlift for instance, you can hold a much heavier load up here than you can down here. So the resistance as you go farther away increases as your strength will increase too. It can be uncomfortable at first if you're not using it a ton and there's a few movements that just don't feel super great. I think if somebody committed to using X3 for a significant amount of time, 
Like they could see a lot of benefit and strength. That's 10 fitness products you get ads for. What products did we miss? Is there anything you're like, man, I get ads for this. I'd love to see a review on it. Let us know in the comments. Are any of these products that you have experience with? Let us know what you think of them. This is Coop from Garage and Reviews, and we will see you 